Hello, 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 everyone. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you all doing? It is 5.29, about to be 5.30 in the morning. And I pray that um, you are just ready for the day and you are praising the Lord God for waking you up this morning and getting you on your way and um, and just uh, filled with joy this morning. So, <laughs> so this is a year in the Bible, a year in the Bible, daily Bible readings. Um, we are on November 3rd. We started November 1st. So we will be daily reading the Bible uh, so we could actually get through the whole Bible for the year. So this is not Bible study. It's just to encourage you to get into the Word yourself. Um, I will come on every morning at 530 and, and, and go according to uh, the Bible plan that's in my Bible and read uh, to you. And this is to encourage you to want to get into the Word yourself and read the Bible and uh, develop your relationship with the Lord God Almighty and uh, develop that deep, meaningful relationship with Him. And so, I am ready to pray. I'm going to pray. So, Heavenly Father, Jehovah God, we just glorify you and we thank you, Lord God, for a brand new day. You are so awesome and so amazing, Lord God, that you chose us to keep us and you have opened our eyes once more, breathed into our lungs once more to give us the chance and the opportunity to get it right and to have a relationship with you, Lord God, to read the words of God and to apply them into our lives, Lord God. And I just thank you, Lord God, and I pray for every single person that is going to come onto the live Facebook and even watch the YouTube because I am recording this. And I pray that all those that's going to watch the replay, I pray that you bless them. I, put, I pray that every step that they take towards having a developed relationship with you by reading the word and praying and staying in constant communication with you Lord God that you will bless them with your spirit bless them with increase of your spirit in their life in their family life in their business in their um, ministries and just show up and show out in their life and let them know that you recognize the steps that they are taking on their part and that every step that they take, you will take seven towards them and, and let them be remembered. Let them rem be reminded that you are protecting them and guiding them and directing them and providing for them, Lord God. And I just glorify you and I thank you for this, for this chance, for this opportunity to be an inspiration and a motivation and to encourage the people to get into the word and to read. And I just thank you, Lord God Almighty, for you are so good. You're so good. And I just glorify you. And I pray this in the presence of Jehovah and the spirit of Jesus Yahweh. In Jesus' holy, mighty name, amen. 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 So if you are just coming on, and I am recording, so you'll see me looking up and up and down. Um but if you're just coming on, this is a year in the Bible where we will be doing a daily reading of the Word so we can get through the Bible in one year. So I hope that you are ready for this journey and that you will come on with me and follow along. And so um, to keep up. Um, we have already done November 1st and 2nd and um, and so you go back and watch the replays and don't forget to share share share
tag someone who you feel that needs to get into the word, who needs this um, to hear the word um, as well. They can just listen and um, allow those words to write themselves on the tablets of their heart. And so today, this is November 3rd, we are reading out of Genesis chapters 3, 4, and 5. Yes. So let's get started. We're going to read 3, 4, and 5 today. It's my quick trip cup. Okay. All right, Genesis 3. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof, and did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. And the eyes of them both were opened, and they knew that they were naked. And they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, and I hid myself. And he said, Who told thee that thou was naked? Hast thou eaten of the tree whereof I commanded thee that you shouldest not eat? And the man said, The woman whom thou gavest to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the woman, What is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle, and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shalt thou go. And dust thou shalt eat all the days of thy life. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. And it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. And unto Adam he said, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and hast eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it, cursed is the ground. For thy sake, in sorrow shalt thou eat of it all the days of thy life. 
Thorns also and thistles shall it bring forth to thee, and thou shalt eat the herb of the field. In the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread, till thou return unto the ground, for out of it wast thou taken, for dust thou art, and unto dust thou, re thou return. And Adam called his wife's name Eve, because she was the mother of all living. Unto Adam also, and to his wife, did the Lord God make coats of skin and clothe them. And the Lord God said, Behold, the man is become as one of us, to know good and evil. And now, lest he put forth his hand, and take also of the tree of life, and eat, and live forever. Therefore the Lord God sent him forth from the garden of Eden to till the ground from whence he was taken. So he drove out the man and he placed at the east of the garden of Eden cherubims and a flaming sword which turned away to keep the way of the tree of life. So if you're just coming on, we are doing a year in the Bible, daily Bible readings, where I will come on every morning at 5.30, and I will read uh, the Bible going according to the year in the Bible, Bible plan out of my Bible. And I actually have an actual Bible I read. <laughs> so today, this is November 3rd, we are reading out of Genesis chapters 3, 4, and 5. And I do read from the King's James Version. You can read from uh, whatever version you prefer. And so this is just to encourage you to get into the Word yourself. Is is to inspire you and motivate you to get into the Word and read daily. And so this is not Bible study, it's just Bible readings. And, and I, I hope and pray that you will follow along. Um, and if you've missed November 1st and 2nd, go back and uh, go back and watch the replays. Uh, I'm also recording this to be put on YouTube on my YouTube channel so you can go follow along there as well. All right, so we're moving on to chapter four this morning. And Adam knew his wife. And she conceived and bare Cain and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. And she again bare his brother Abel, and Abel was a keeper of sheep. But Cain was a tiller of the ground. And in process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the Lord. And Abel he also brought of the first firstlings of his flock and of the fat thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering. But unto Cain and to his offering, he had not respect. And Cain was very wroth and his countenance fell. And the Lord said unto Cain, why art thou wroth? And why is thy countenance fallen? If thou doest well, shalt thou not be accepted? And if thou doest not well, sin lieth at the door. And unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. And Cain talked with Abel his brother, and it came to pass. When they were in the field, that Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and slew him. And the Lord said unto Cain, Where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? And he said, What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground. And now art thou cursed from the earth which hath opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand. 
When thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. A fugitive and a vagabond shalt thou be in the earth. And Cain said unto the Lord, My punishment is greater than I can bear. Behold, thou hast driven me out this day from the face of the earth, and from thy face shall I be hid. And I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth, and it shall come to pass that every one that findeth me shall slay me. And the Lord said unto him, Therefore whosoever slayeth Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord set a mark upon Cain, lest any finding him should kill him. And Cain went out from the presence of the Lord and dwelt in the land of Nod, on the east of Eden. And Cain knew his wife, and she conceived and bare Enoch. And he builded a city and called the name of the city after the name of his son Enoch. And unto Enoch was born Irad, and Irad begat Mahuhel. Now, if I say these, if I say these names and words wrong, forgive me because they are hard. Okay, so and Irad begat Mahuhel, and Mahuhel begat Methusel, and Methusel begat Lamech. And Lamech took unto him two wives. The name of the one was Ada, and the name of the other, Zillah. I hope that I'm saying them the best that I can. And Ada, bare Jabel, he was the father of such as dwell in tents, and of such as have cattle. And his brother's name was Jubal. He was the father of all such as handled the harp and organ. And Zila, she also bare Tubalcain, an instructor of every artif artificer in brass and iron. And the sister of Tubalcain was Na Nama. Nama. Again, forgive me if I'm saying these words wrong. Hopefully you can do better. <laughs> so, and, and, Lam and Lamech said unto his wives, Ada and Zillah, Hear my voice, ye wives of Lamech. Hearken unto my speech. For I have slain a man to my wounding, and a young man to my hurt. If Cain shall be avenged sevenfold, truly Lamech seventy and sevenfold. And Adam knew his wife again, and she bare a son and called his name Seth. For God said, She hath appointed me another seed instead of Abel, whom Cain slew. And to Seth, to him also there was born a son, and he called his name Enos. Then began men to call upon the name of the Lord. So if you're just coming on, this is Daily Bible Readings. We're going to do a year in the Bible. We started November 1st, and we will go from November 1st, 2019 to November 1st, 2020. So I pray that you will come on every morning at 5.30 and keep up with me. And uh, today we are reading from Genesis 3, 4, and 5. So I just read 3 and 4, so we're going to continue to chapter 5. So forgive me if I'm saying any of these names wrong. I'm doing the best that I can because they are very, very hard. All right, so chapter 5. This is the book of the generations of Adam. In the day that God created man, in the likeness of God made he him. Male and female created he them and blessed them and called their name Adam in the day when they were created. 
And Adam lived an hundred and thirty years and beget a son in his own likeness after his image and called his name Seth. And the days of Adam after he had begotten Seth were eight hundred years and he beget sons and daughters. And all the days that Adam lived were nine hundred and thirty years and he died. And Seth lived a hundred and five years and begot Enos. And Seth lived after he begat Enos eight hundred and seven years and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Seth were nine hundred and twelve years and he died. And Enos lived ninety years and begat Canaan. And Enos lived after he begat Canaan eight hundred and fifty years and beget sons and daughters and all the days of Enos were nine hundred and five years and he died and Canaan lived seventy years and beget Mahalalel and Canaan lived after he beget Mahalalel eight hundred and forty years and beget sons and daughters. And all the days of Canaan were 910 years, and he died. And Mahalalel lived 60 and 5 years, and beget Jared. And Mahalalel lived after he beget Jared 830 years, and beget sons and daughters. All the days of Mahalalel were 800 ninety and five years and he died and Jared lived a uh, hundred sixty and two years and he begat Enoch and Jared lived after he begat Enoch eight hundred years and begat sons and daughters and all the days of Jared were nine hundred sixty and two years and he died and Enoch lived sixty and five years and beget Methuselah. And Enoch walked with God after he beget Methuselah three hundred years and beget sons and daughters. And all the days of Enoch were three hundred sixty and five years. And Enoch walked with God and he was not for God took him. And Methuselah lived a hundred eighty and seven years and beget Lamech. And Methuselah lived after he beget Lamech seven hundred eighty and two years and beget sons and daughters. And all the days of Methuselah were nine hundred sixty and nine years and he died. And Lamech lived a hundred eighty in two years and beget a son and he called his name Noah saying this name shall comfort us concerning our work and toil of our hands because of the ground which the Lord had cursed and Lamech lived after he beget Noah five hundred ninety and five years and beget sons and daughters and all the days of Lamech were seven hundred seventy and seven years, and he died. And Noah was five hundred years old, and Noah begat Shem, Ham, and Japheth. So, if you're just coming on, we are doing a year in the Bible, daily Bible readings, where we're going to get through the Bible in one year and I just read Genesis chapters 3 4 and 5 this morning so I pray that you will come on every morning at 530 I will be here to read the words of God to you this is to inspire you and motivate you 
to want to get into the word yourself and read the Bible. So this is not a Bible study. I'm not going to break the, break it down. I'm encouraging you and inspiring you and motivating you to go back and read Genesis 3, 4, and 5 and break it down, study it, and, and, and soak it in and let it apply uh, in your heart, mind, and soul uh, so that you can hear the voice of God and see what God is uh, speaking to you um, through those uh, chapters. So thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And I will see you tomorrow morning at 530. Y'all have a wonderful and blessed day.